Okay, uh, welcome class. We are starting uh, to do some of this uh, pre, uh, not pre, we're going to start to do some of this uh, homework that we had, this extra credit, uh, tree, not extra credit, extra work for the tree diagramming. This is tree diagramming number four. Um, this is for those that want extra credit. And I have one student here, and that's Raymond now. Why don't you say hello? Hello, everybody. <laughs> All right, nobody's here right now, but hopefully they'll be able to see this later. And uh, if I do see people pop in that want to uh, uh, join. join, we will add them in as we go. Uh, yes. Let me move this over to there just so that I can see stuff from there, right? Okay. Okay. Yeah, right now I don't see anybody there. We may have to switch in and out as we go. Let's get started. And um, uh, I'll just lead. If you, have, if you want to do anything, just let me know, okay? Okay, you you take the lead. Go yeah, ahead. I'll take the lead. Um, okay, again, we're going to start with a sentence at the top, right? Yes. And uh, before we do that, I guess I think it's a good idea always to look for where the main verb is. And yes. in our sentence here, it's going to be this one, didn't know, right? Oh, whoops, mm -hmm. I got the wrong thing listed here. Didn't know. Yep. That's where the main verb is. And then I have who entered the house or what they took uh, from the safe. Because I know this is the main verb, I'm only going to have a really small noun phrase over here. But then yep. I have this thing, who entered the house. And that's a, that's a, clause, uh, it's a clause. That's a, uh, a noun clause. And here's another one, what they took. The reason why I know it's a clause is because it's marker, subject, verb, right? Marker is a who and subject is who. And the verb is uh, entered. So it's not a question. It's set up as a noun clause. And that's what these are. So, yeah. we okay here? So I'm going to put an S here for, mm -hmm. uh, not an S, a noun phrase here. And although there's going to be a verb phrase, the verb phrase is going to have a whole bunch of stuff right from the beginning because of the, uh... well, look, that didn't work. There we go. Let's try this again. Because of the way the sentence is uh, structured. Yep. Okay. Again, try to keep things parallel. And we have a noun that's here, so that's going to be an easy one. And then we're going to have a main verb phrase. So I'm just going to put that right here because it's so, uh, come down a little, thank you. Because it's so uh, close to the main uh, to the main subject here. There's not much else that's listed there. We're going to run this over. And then from here, we're going to go down to a uh, two things, right? What are they? They didn't, they didn't know. Yeah, what are they though? What are they called? Uh, um, um, auxiliary. One is an auxiliary, right? That's didn't, did and not, and the other is. Not it. No, it's um. Ne what do you call it? negative? Nope. Didn't is negative. That's part of the auxiliary, right? And then okay. you've got no, which is. No, it's an ad adverb. Nope. No is the main verb. No. Okay. All right, so we've got didn't, which is did not, mm -hmm. and then we have no, which is the main verb, okay? So, of course, we're dropping down the we, so that's what all those are. And then we have this who entered the house or what they said. What are those? Right? Yep. Just writing. <laughs> all right, but what is, who, what is the who entered the house? Do you know? Who is the marker? Who is the marker for what? For, um... What do you call it? Noun, oh. verb, adjective, adverb. What is it? Um, who entered? It's adverb. Okay. If we look at it again, and we just be simple about it, if you don't know, you can ask. We didn't know, and then what do you put in there? Someone, something, some action? Some, yeah, someone. So someone is a person, right? Person, yeah. Right? And so since it's a person, it's what? Noun, verb, adjective, adverb. Adverb. A person is an adverb? Noun person? No, it's an adjective. Person is a noun, right? Noun, person, place, yeah. or thing. So this is, we didn't know some thing. Thing is a noun because it's a person, place, or thing. We didn't know someone, right? That's what we put there after no. We put in a, per, a thing or a person or a, but a person or a thing, those are nouns. Yeah. So this is a noun phrase. Yep. Okay. So we put in noun phrase here, but this is also not just a noun phrase. What is it? These are clauses. Clause, yes. So we're going to have a clause there. 
we're gonna have a clause there and right here we're gonna have a, a conjunction which is or yeah. right so whoops so right here we have a sentence basically and here we have a sentence mm -hmm. and here we have a conjunction okay yep um Okay, and since we have a sentence, we do this standard, you know, these are the standard sentence things, right? It's noun and verb. Yeah. So that's what we're going to have. We're going to put those in. Okay. We're going to we're going to start here with a, a noun phrase. Well, let's come down a little more. We're going to have a noun phrase and we're going to have a verb phrase. Can I okay. come down there? We go verb phrase. Right? And then off the noun phrase, we're going to have just a noun, which is someone, right? Yeah. Now, we don't know who that someone is. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm in the wrong thing. There we go. No. I can't get this to go in. There we go. Nope, I still can't get it to go in. Son of a gun, I can't get it to go smaller. There we go. Mm, got it. Okay, now that someone becomes then who. Mm-hmm. All right, so from here we put in a who. Yeah. Right, and then the who gets sent to the front. Yeah. Okay, is that making sense? Yes. Yeah. Cross you out and make you a marker, right? Mm-hmm. And then off of this sentence we also have the verb and the verb phrase. So off of this, we're going to have a verb phrase and we're going to have uh, the house is what? A noun phrase, right? Yeah. So wow. off of here, we have a main verb phrase, which is now too big, mm -hmm. and we have a noun phrase. The main yeah. verb phrase becomes main verb, right? Let's try to make these yeah. smaller if we can. That worked. Noun phrase smaller. That's nice that that's working that way. That's good. Okay. Okay. So we've got a main verb and we have. Oh, let's break this in two, shall we? So that we get our determiner and our noun. The verb is entered. Who is now who? It was actually somebody, but we switched it. Yeah. And then we have a determiner and we have a noun. And those are easy. Whoa, grab the wrong thing. Yeah, it needs to be moved. Can you see it okay? There is not, they're, they're not f f falling on the right, um, you know, they're not pointing at the right, you know, it has to be moved a little bit. But it's okay, I understand it. Yes. Okay. If you go, yeah. This is actually. Go, a bit, oh, go ahead. If you go, yeah, if you go a little bit to the, the main verb, to go to the enter. And the terminator to the the because it's not pointing correctly. Yeah, the problem that I have is that I can't see what you have. Yeah. Which is they're not they're not you know I it needs a little bit the main verb it needs to no. be moved a little bit to the to the left side to this my way? side. This way. Okay, the first no no the second main verb. Yeah. Okay, I moved it already once. It's yes. not there. The, the who, who is pointing at enter. Is it that, should be. Is that better? Yes. A little bit more, that will be correct. All right. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Close enough. And now, yeah. No, yeah. this close, but in the, the second where is enter, you know, the main verb is shooting at the, 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 the um, they're not correct. But anyway, I understand right. them. And the problem is your probably your screen resolution is different from mine, and so it's causing problems. Yeah, probably. Uh, it's a flaw in the software we're using, which is a bummer. Yeah. But uh, mm -hmm. next time I'll think I'm going to use different software. Let's go on. We have the next okay. sentence, and again we have a sentence, so we're going to have a uh, noun phrase and a verb phrase. Okay. Okay. So we're going to have a noun phrase here and a verb phrase. Mm -hmm. The noun phrase again is what which is going to become something yes. because they took something but we don't know what it was and that gets converted to what 
And then we have a verb phrase, which is what? Mm -hmm. You always got to remember that if you have a, a verb phrase, you always have main verb phrase and main verb. They always go together. Yes. There were several times when I was correcting papers that students were putting other things that didn't belong there okay. into this uh, structure. So you should realize that this is always one unit. Yes. Okay? And if you draw a line from main ver from verb phrase to main verb, nothing else goes in here. Nothing gets connected to uh, these, okay? The only thing the two things you can connect to main verb phrase and that's the main verb and the auxiliary. Mm -hmm. Okay? So students yeah. were some students were having issues with those. Okay, yeah. so Oh, hey, that's wrong. I made a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> they took something. Yeah. Okay, so they took something that belongs here. So let's move all this stuff. This belongs over here. I will explain. The main sentence here, the main subject is what? What's the main subject? They took... They... Hey. Right, that's the subject of the sentence, right? They took something, yeah. right? So this is a noun phrase right here. Mm -hmm. Noun phrase. Okay? Yeah. That's the main sentence, right? They took something. Yeah. Now, we don't know what they took, so we make that a question word. Mm -hmm. And then we run this. They took something. We run this to the to the to here yeah okay uh -huh. well, that's what you do with that then we yeah. have from the safe and what is that there's this uh, preposition it's a preposition it, it, yes yeah. so we're gonna have a preposition mm -hmm. just trying to move this over phrase then okay but what is that phrase? the prep prepositional yeah. phrase is its function what's its form there's this, there's this. I'm sorry, the form is preposition. What's its function? Yeah. So we're going to have a prepositional phrase, but what's the job of that prepositional phrase? On the safe. It's a, a jet, um, I want to call it. Um, it's describing the noun or a verb. Which one? They describe, they describe a noun from the safe. Okay. Took. Took, took from the safe. So is it, uh, is it like a red balloon or is it, uh, uh, quickly took. Which one is it describing? Well, describing where something happened, right? Yeah. So it's describing where it was taken. From where it was taken. It's at, yeah. So it's an adverb. Adverb. Yeah. Right? Because it's describing where it was taken. Now it is a prepositional mm -hmm. phrase. You're right there. Mm -hmm. So it's a prepositional phrase. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we break yeah. that down to... The parts, which is what? Preposition and... Yeah. Preposition and what? Noun phrase. Yeah, always together, right? Preposition... Preposition and noun phrase. Always yeah. together. Very good, very good. Okay, now we just run our preposition down. Okay. And this then noun phrase is going to be those two parts, right? Yeah. All right, and that's that one. We okay? Yes. I can move on? Yep. Go to the next one. Mm-hmm. Uh, find me the main verb. What is it? Okay, this is the goal of language teacher. Uh, is. Is. Give me the main verb, right? Yeah. Noun phrase and then a verb phrase. And since this is the main verb right here, right, everything to the left is all going to be under the noun phrase, right? Yeah. And then the other stuff is going to be uh, in the verb phrase. Yeah. All right, so. so this is... Draw some of these. The goal of the language teacher. So we have, uh, in here we have the, the goal, goal the and then... The... What's the and next one? Huh? Of a language teacher, right? What's of a language teacher? Of a language. This is preposition. 
a preposition. That's its that's yeah. its shape. What's its job? It's um language. It's describing goal. goal. So therefore it's a ad adverbal. It's describing the goal. So the goal mm -hmm. is the subject. The goal is a noun, so it's gonna be an adjective phrase. Adjective. Right, and like you said, it's a preposition. Yeah. So you're good with its 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 uh, form. Its form yes. is a is a preposition. You got that. Preposition, yes. P P. P P. And then you're gonna have a, a, a noun P phrase. and a noun phrase, and then and the this noun is phrase is gonna be a determiner and a noun. Very good. Let's draw some lines. Mm -hmm. All right, the. Goal, and preposition yeah. here, and noun phrase here, and determiner, yeah. and uh, what's that one there? Noun. Oops. A. Forgot the preposition of language. Ho! Oh, what did I do? <laughs> language teacher. I missed one, didn't I? Mm, we missed. You... A, I mean, teacher no. is the noun, so I gotta move this over. Wow. Is that you? That's my phone. I, I turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? Well, I made a mistake because we have the noun is the teacher. Yeah. But we also have the lang we have language teacher. So we've got a we've got another thing in here, and that's an adjective. Mm-hmm. Right? I didn't see that at the beginning. My bad. So. Um, okay. So now that's a little better, huh? Okay, the goal of a language teacher is, so we come on over here and we put in our uh, our verb structure. The verb structure is always MVP, and since this one's just one verb, it's going to be main verb. We're done with that. Mm -hmm. And verb. And now we have getting language into the brains of ELLs. Into the brains of ELLs is easy. Preposition and preposition. Getting language. Mm -hmm. What is that? Well, it is isn't. It's describing what? It's describing the language. Getting it's language getting into language is describing into the, the it's, it's, goal, it's describing, right? Huh? It's describing the goal. The goal. What is the goal? To get the language so, in, the, in the brain. Right. So since language is since getting language into the brains of ELLs is describing the goal, goal yeah. is a noun. Therefore, this is a an adjective clause. Okay. Yeah. And the only reason it's a clause is because we're dealing with ing as a not as a gerund. Yeah. Okay. So this is one of those yucky ones. I've got to make a sentence. Got a sentence, and of course, off the sentence, I'm going to have a subject and a verb, and I've got to make up some words now so that I can fill this in. Okay. Okay, sentence. And what do we call this? Well, it is that they get. Maybe I'm going to do something like that, that they get. So I have a noun phrase, I have a verb phrase, and then it's something like uh, that they get. And then the rest I can do from here. Okay, so that's what it probably will look like. I'm just I'm uh, I'm assuming some things here because there's no way to know for sure. But my noun phrase is now uh, they, right? Uh -huh. And then my verb phrase I gotta pull this down because it's too too high. Okay. All right, let's pull it down even lower. Uh, so because in here I need. I need to add my markers, right? I need to add mm -hmm. uh, main verb phrase and main verb. Mm -hmm. And then that needs to be cut up later on, right? So you're, whoops, stay there. All right, so that's there. You go here and here and here. And then that all gets broken down, right? Or that all gets combined and twisted to part, and, and we have to recombine it to make the gerund. Yeah. All right, so we cross this out and we make it getting. And that's where we get getting from, right? Mm 
Yeah. Okay, and then language is really what? A noun phrase. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we add a noun phrase here, which is just language. Okay, so now that explains where we get that. So getting, I have to explain by adding all of this stuff into it. Okay, yeah. that's why it's necessary. Okay, mm -hmm. and I just made a line that I wasn't supposed to make. Here, let me get rid of that. There we go. Okay, language and then into the brains. Mm -hmm. What is that describing? It's, it's, um, it's describing the... the describing the goal, right? Uh, it's describing the language the, to the brain. Yeah, into the brains means it's talking about what? Where they're getting. Where, okay. Maybe, huh? Or to where they're getting. Where? Right? Yeah. And since it's, dis it's, it's describing the, getting, which is the verb, this uh -huh. is going to be a what? It's an adverb. It's an adverb. So we're going to have to add an adverb here. Um, and it's a, obviously, since it's uh, got that, we've got to also have a PP because it, it is a preposition, yes. right? Yeah. So, and of course, we have a PP. We're going to have a preposition and a noun phrase. Now let's draw some lines here real quick. An adverb phrase, which is a preposition, which is a go and this is into and this noun phrase has two parts mm -hmm. we've got a this and a noun mm -hmm. and some lines here still just the two of us I don't see anybody around yet the brains and what's of ELLs it's another it's of of Elios, I don't know. It, of of is, a, is another pro, uh, yep. preposition. It's a preposition. What's it describing? Of Elios. Elios is a noun, right? Elios is the noun, yeah. But what is this describing? It's describing which brains, right? Yeah, of his brain. Right. So yeah, basically what we do is from here we have to have another... Position. Yeah. Another adjective, A D, spell it. Adjective phrase, mm -hmm. right? And uh, yeah. that becomes the preposition. Uh, this comes out from where? That's from the noun? From the noun. Okay. Actually, I could make it come from the noun phrase. Let me, let me take that back. I could do it directly from the noun as well, and that would be fine. Yeah, it's from the noun phrase, from yeah. the top. Right, so, okay. And then we do the last two. Mm -hmm. yeah. We have a preposition and a noun phrase. And that's all we need to do. Yeah. Are you okay with this one? Yes. Very yeah. good. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Okay. Hey, you did not show up proper, did you? So let's see if I can... Mm -hmm. Make this a little smaller. Mm -hmm. That's better. Can you see it all now? Yeah. Okay. Talk to me. What's at the top? Yeah. Is this sentence? And this is this test is is the verb. Here's the main verb. Okay. There yeah. you go. Okay. Then so we know everything. Phrase, uh -huh. this test. Yep. And then what's this? Which? Uh, which? This is so from where you got the you didn't put the verb yes you nope. didn't put them not, oh. not yet right no I didn't that's okay let's let's uh, do what we have so we're gonna have a okay. verb phrase here okay uh -huh. but a lot of this is gonna be stuck to the left here because we have a very small noun phrase here the noun yeah. phrase is just two parts and uh -huh. the verb phrase theirs is so right from there we have yeah. is and then we have Another noun phrase, no brainer, right? Oh, yeah. So we've got a determiner and we have a noun. Where's my mm -hmm. noun? And this is a main verb phrase. That's going to become what? A main yeah. verb. And then this one here is another noun phrase, right? Mm 
-hmm. And uh, that noun phrase is going to break down to a determiner and uh, a noun. Yeah. Let's straighten these out a little. Run some lines here so we catch up. Yeah. Determiner, this test main yeah. verb phrase to main verb is noun yeah. phrase, right? A, who? Hey, we got another one in here. Forgot to add this. No, which is also a, a, an adjective, I guess you could call it. And then brainer. No, it's an adjective? Yeah, I guess we could call it an adjective, although I don't like that. I'll put that in mm -hmm. there. Just put a big A, I guess, for adjective. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we run a line there for no brainer. And that's really mm -hmm. the main sentence we're done with. Yeah. Uh, let me get rid of that line because I don't like it. And put in yeah. another one. That's a little better. Now, which means is a full clause. Yes. Okay. Interestingly yeah. enough, it is an adverb clause. So yeah. we're going to have an adverb clause here. A, D, B clause. And it's going to become a sentence. Mm-hmm. And if it's a sentence, what two pieces do you have? Always, noun phrase, yes. verb phrase, right? Yeah. All right. So from the ad, okay, from the adverb it goes, it goes a sentence, right? Right. Okay, and from the sentence is a noun phrase, and a verb phrase. Okay. And literally, we have a word in here like this. Um which gets changed, right, because it's a double, mm -hmm. this, whoops, this means, that would be the normal thing here, right? Yes. Main verb. But we can't just have it be this, because it's not going to fit, we need a marker there, so we cross that out, and uh -huh. we make it a question word, right? Yeah. Okay, and then we send that down to the front. Literally, you always send these to the front. But since yeah. which is already in the front, you don't have to worry about it. Which means something. Right? That's what we yeah. normally put after means. You mean something. You mean to say something, right? So we're going to have a something yeah. there. Something is what? Noun, verb, adjective, adverb. It's adverb. Something, which means it's a what? Which means... A thing is a what? Noun, verb, adjective, adverb. It's a... Which means it's a noun. It's a noun. So what? Because we're saying it's something, it's going to be a noun. Yeah. Okay, so it's a noun phrase, and that noun phrase is, you guessed it, a sentence. Yeah. sentence. Another sentence here now. And because we have a sentence, of course, we have what? Noun mm -hmm. phrase and a verb phrase. Yeah. Okay, so this one's a little more complicated than the other ones have been. Okay, yeah. means that. Mm -hmm. It's another sentence here. That's right. Half of you will fail. Here's the main verb, will fail, right? Okay. Okay, and half is the noun phrase. So we're going to have a noun phrase here. Yeah. We're going to need to add one thing in here. We're going to have a noun phrase, which is just that one word. And then um. we're going to have... An adjective off of here. Yeah. All right. What's the adjective? Fail. A D adjective phrase, which mm -hmm. is actually a preposition, right? Yeah. Um, and the preposition is what? Noun. Uh, that's right. Noun phrase. So let's run these lines down. Okay. We got. Uh, Adjective mm -hmm. to the preposition, mm -hmm. right? and the preposition is of, and the noun phrase for that yes. preposition is you. Oh. Okay, now off of here, now we need the rest of the verb. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Verb structure right. is main yes. verb phrase. Ex auxiliary. Jesus. Right, we need an auxiliary, mm -hmm. and we need, obviously, the main verb. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fail. Yeah, will fail. Yeah. Okay, will fail. Okay, so we just draw those lines in now and we're done.
Mm-hmm. How'd that look? Was that okay? Yes. Good to hear. Go on to the next one. Yep. Oops. Step five. Nothing is what rocks dream about. Mm-hmm. Subject, what do we got over here? Is. The verb is is. The verb is is, so we're going to have, this is going to be pretty easy, I think. All right? Yeah. Okay. We just This goes straight down to nothing. All right? Mm-hmm. Over here, we're going to have a verb phrase, and then we're mm-hmm. going to have uh, another noun phrase, looks like. Mm-hmm. Uh, what is this? Main verb phrase, and then main verb. This is a noun phrase. And this noun phrase is what? So then this what rocks dream about, you've got a marker a subject uh-huh. and a verb. Yeah. Okay, so if you've it's got marker, a, subject, verb, it equals a what? It's an adverb. Marker, subject, and verb always is going to equal a clause. A clause, yeah. Okay, and if it's a clause, you got to ask yourself what kind of clause is it? Is it a noun clause, an adjective clause, an adverb clause? So what's it describing? My guess is that it's going to be a noun clause. Okay, nothing equals what rocks dream about. Okay, so they're both the same as my thought. I still don't see anybody up online. So, since that's going to be the case, I'm going to have a noun, noun clause that basically becomes a sentence. Right? And then that sentence, of course, has what two pieces? Yeah. Mm hmm. Sentence. From sentence. So from the noun phrase, it goes a sentence, and from the sentence, another noun phrase, and another verb phrase. There you go. Okay, so the noun phrase is basically rocks. Okay. Okay, the verb phrase is. Uh, dream. Well, that's right, that's the verb phrase. So here we're going to have uh, main verb phrase and then main verb. Okay, and then over here we're going to have about something. Okay, and what's that doing? It's describing what? Describing. Describing what they dream about, right? Mm-hmm. So we're going to have a dream about something, or a preposition here, a prepositional phrase. Mm-hmm. Am I making sense? Yeah. Okay, so from here I have a preposition and I have a noun. The verb yeah. is dream, so we're good there. What's the preposition? Mm-hmm. The preposition is about. Preposition is about. What's the noun phrase? The noun phrase is what? Something. Somehow. Something. We don't know what that is, okay? Yeah. But that's our question word. Something, yeah. All right. That's the one thing that we're trying to find out. So we've got about here. Your noun phrase is this made-up word something that we don't know. We cross it out. It becomes what? Yeah. Right? And yeah. then what do we do with what? We move it to here. We send it to the front. There you go. And that becomes our front line there. I mean, redraw this line. Mm-hmm. It goes there, right? Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Very good. So that one was easy. Mm-hmm. One of the well, next I one. Wish you, I wish you choose all. <laughs> <laughs> You're not the only one. You're not the only one. <laughs> You're a master of, of complicating things. <laughs> you know, I'll be honest. When I was writing the questions uh, for the test, I, I wasn't really thinking. I was just, you know, being extemporaneous. I was just being spontaneous. So. Oh, gosh. Yes, you're, I know you're ready to kill me, and you weren't the only one. So. <laughs> All right, we've got noun phrase here, and where's the main verb? Okay, David in... In invented. Uh huh. Invented is the main verb, right? Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna, gonna just have to go to there, right? 
We're going to put all yeah. of David Bushnell together as one noun. Uh, yeah, no you could great. probably call it as something else. We're just going to put it all together as one. That's not that's going to be okay that way. Yeah. Okay, so from here we've got a main verb phrase, and of course we have to have a main verb. And for those of you listening from a distance, please make sure that you keep your main verb phrase and your main verb always together as a unit. You can also add an auxiliary. Nothing else is connected to the main verb phrase except those two things, main verb and auxiliary, nothing else. Okay, invented, and then we have what? A noun phrase, the, the submarine. submarine. Now another noun phrase. Uh-huh, and what's, the, uh, what's in 1776? What is that describing? This is describing what 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 he did what invented the sub his the submarine so it's it it says in 1776 so what's it describing the year the, uh, the time the time of what the time of the invention so the invention is the verb therefore okay uh, describing so, so this is an, an, this is an adjective Invented is the verb, so therefore, right? Invented is the verb, right? Yeah. So if it's describing the invention, he's describing when it was invented, right? Yeah. And since it's invented that it's describing, it's going to be an ad verb. Ad verb. Because it's describing when. Yeah. Generally, things with time... Mm -hmm. are going to be adverbs if it's dealing with time because time is related to when things are done. Mm -hmm. Right? So it's also a preposition. So, And this preposition has a noun phrase, which is all one word. So, okay. Mm -hmm. How are we doing? Okay? This is good. This is good. Helping? That's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go on to seven. Uh -huh. I looked over the plans for the building and decided to build it. Look. What are the verbs? I look. Looked is one verb. There's another one, yep. though. There's another There's one. Another, uh, I decided. So we've got two, two verbs here. And we got to yeah. remember that when we're ripping off of the verb phrase, we're going to have two columns that are verb, uh, main verb phrases. We're not going to have just one because we've two. got two verbs going here, right? Yeah. You've got one verb phrase, which is looked, which brings yeah. this all the way over here, but you're going to have another one somewhere else. Yeah. This is just I, right? Yes. Mm. Okay, you're going to have a main verb phrase over looked, right? Over this one, over looked, but you're going to need another main verb phrase over decided over, right over, so yeah you know we're gonna we're gonna draw a line and we know that right here we're gonna have another main verb phrase because mm -hmm. we got two of them separated by stuff okay yeah, yeah. okay i looked over mm -hmm. uh, is over part of the verb or is it a prepositional phrase a prepositional phrase it's hard to tell if it's a prepositional phrase, then looked means no. literally I'm looking like I look over the table so that I can see the floor. I can see the person sitting at the table. I think over is an adverb. Okay. Uh, and I understand what you're saying. In, in, the, in the text that we used, it was called a verb particle. It's uh -huh. part of the verb. And what happens here, looked over, doesn't mean to literally view over the table. It means to review, right? Uh -huh. Or to see something, to review see. plans. It's part of the verb. It's so, part of the verb. Right, yeah. it's part of the verb. So that when we go to draw this, we're going to draw a main verb phrase, and that's all we have here. We're going to have okay. a main verb phrase, and then we're going to have a verb and a verb particle. And for you guys, just put down uh -huh. main verb. And just draw a line down. Forget about the verb particle in that sense. You can just put it right there. If you want to draw some squiggly lines so that we know these two are together. I see. Okay. okay. But they are together. This also means yeah. that when you go to the plans is now what? 
Yeah. It's just a noun phrase. I looked over. The plant, this is the noun phrase now. Because over is not a preposition. Over is a verb. verb. It's a part of the verb, right. So now from here we have uh, two pieces, right? Mm -hmm. Actually, we're going to have three. Uh, no, we're going to have I looked over the plans. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's uh, put this in here. we got a determiner. We've got uh, a noun. And we mm -hmm. have four. Oops. We have four the building. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that for the building is an adjective. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, for the building. Let's put this here. Okay, we'll add an adjective here. Adjective, whoops, adjective phrase. Mm -hmm. uh, what's it describing, by the way, do you know? This adjective phrase. You know okay. what it's describing? Describing the, the building. Describing, not the building, but describing... Are you writing all this down at the same time? Yeah. Huh, you're, you're busy. <laughs> That's why, like, I think and I write and I yes, want to follow yes. you. <laughs> and we have the plans, and then what plans? I don't know what plans. Oh, the plans for the building. Oh, those plans. Okay, so I'm screwing up here, folks. Yep. That's uh, what I said. It says P, not a D. It's a P. It's not a D. Yeah, mm. The D is over here. With the okay. noun. And now this is the D, the that, and right. building. So this is for the, the building is an adjective phrase that's describing the plans. What plans? Yes. Okay. That's a little better. And is a conjunction that we've got to take off of here. Yes. And then we have decided. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which is going to run this. Let's put these pieces mm -hmm. in. Okay, and is a conjunction. And then decided is going to be a um, main verb, right? Mm -hmm. To build it. Oh, you crazy guy. What did you do? Decided because to build it is what? Huh? To decided decide? what? Yeah. To. Decided to is together. Yes. So, no. Decided to is not together. But decided is a verb, and to build yeah. it is describing the decision. Yeah. So it's an adverb clause. Yeah. Oh, joy. All right. These are the ones that you hate because <laughs> this adverb clause now has to become a sentence. And we're going to have, obviously, a noun phrase, and we have no room, but we're going to put in a verb phrase. <laughs> right? This one is complicated. Decided, right? Mm -hmm. uh, um, uh, what do we have here? Let's let's write. This, so, two, it's, it's to build. Yeah, but I need to break it down. That I... W uh, will build, right? That I will uh, build, right? So I need, I need to add this and then cross this out. This is the the part that's more difficult because it's a... Oh, I spelled that I will. will build. Right? So uh, here's my noun phrase, I. Uh -huh. And then I need in here, what do I need? I need a main verb phrase. And then I need an auxiliary... And I need a main verb, right? Mm -hmm. Right. I just because it's a because it's a, an infinitive, I need to add all this extra stuff just so that I can get to I will build, and I have an mm -hmm. extra I in there, which I then cross out and make mm -hmm. the infinitive, right? Yeah. So that's what this is, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's ugly. Mm -hmm. How about that. Let's try that again. How do we do that properly? Mm. Oh, it's a little better, but not much better. And then we have it. Mm -hmm. And it is a noun phrase, right? Mm -hmm. 
So we have a noun phrase over here, noun phrase, which is basically the building, mm -hmm. right, or the plans, whatever you want to look at, and there we go. Okay. So again, just because we have this this uh, infinitive here now requires that I add all of this stuff. Whoops, mm -hmm. all of this stuff up here. Crazy, okay. crazy. But that's the way they're built. That's the way we do them. All right, number eight. Mm -hmm. I don't like looking for a needle in a haystack, okay? I, I don't know how you came up with this. <laughs> Why? <laughs> you know what it is? It's, been thinking too much. It's, it's, it's because it's too late at night when I'm writing this stuff, and so all these crazy, <laughs> crazy ideas pop into my head, and, uh, you know. Oh, my goodness. I yes, think... yes. That's why every now and again people ask me, Are you happen to be a Christian who takes drugs? I'm just kind of curious. So. Okay. So, okay, we've got a noun phrase, I. Your main verb phrase is going to have at least two parts, right? Yeah. And uh, we got an auxiliary, and we okay. have a uh, verb, main verb, and then we have a noun phrase. Yay! And the dreaded noun phrase is going to be something we don't like. Auxiliary, main verb, and we have a noun phrase over here. What's the noun phrase? You know how I did this. I asked the question. I don't like looking. I don't like something. Right? Main verb is... Oh, what the heck am I doing? Main verb is like, and so after like, we have a noun usually, right? I don't like ice cream. I don't like grammar. I don't like toozy. So, I mean, we have things like that, but they're usually nouns after like, which means that looking is a noun. But it's a gerund, which means how do I get that gerund? Yeah, I need a sentence. Okay, so right. And if I have a sentence, yay, I have a noun phrase and I have a verb phrase. Okay, and literally I have also a rel core marker here, but we're not going to put this in. Actually, let me put it in. That's going to be that. I don't like that I look, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and then off of this, let's run our stuff, shall we? There's your that, and your noun phrase is I. And to get look, I need what? I look. In a main verb phrase, and then a main verb. What happened here? Okay, and then I, I cross all this out, and it becomes my gerund. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. We okay? Yeah. Now, for a needle, what's that? Okay, this is okay. You, you have to have here. Yeah. I don't like looking... Looking for what? Well, it's going to be an ad adverb then, right? Um, yeah. So we've got an adverb phrase, but it's also a preposition, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. And uh, because it's a preposition, I've got a preposition and a noun phrase. Whoops, mm -hmm. not a noun, a noun phrase. Let's run some lines. Mm -hmm. Adverb phrase to preposition to noun phrase. The preposition is for. Noun phrase is going to have two parts, mm -hmm. and uh, they are a determiner I, and a noun. Yeah. Yep. And let's see, a and needle, and then in a haystack is what? And it and it's also a preposition. It's also a preposition. Okay, what's its job? In a is an ad, ad, adjective. It's going to be another adverb phrase. Adverb? Yeah, if it's an adjective, okay. it's describing a noun, so it would be describing yeah. the needle. Hey, you know what? That'll work. Because it is what? describing what needle? Yeah. See, so it could be an adjective. I was thinking where looking. 
No. It's, it's describing it's... where it's looking or it's describing what needle. You know, maybe mm -hmm. I don't mind looking for a needle in my sewing box. That'd be easy, right? Yep. <laughs> So literally, when you write this up and you say and and you put an adverb, you put an adjective phrase in, you can argue with me and say, no, 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 it could be an adjective phrase, and it could be. Yeah. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, that one you should fight me for, because okay. logically it could be either one. I don't know what the author intended, and the worst <laughs> part about it is I'm the author and I don't remember what I intended, so. A preposition and it has a prepositional phrase i mean it's got a preposition and a noun phrase and the noun phrase has a determiner and a noun let's run our lines we got a preposition and a noun phrase the preposition is in noun phrase has two parts we should do this more often i think so no i just mean i just mean you and me because i get the impression that when the students hear this they're going to have a hoot they're going to think this is a lot of fun. <laughs> what do you say, class? When you guys listen to this, you tell us. Is it better to have two people, uh, you know, one suffering student and one crazy teacher, or is it just better to listen to the crazy teacher talk to himself? Well, I'm, an, I, I, I'm honored today. Down <laughs> phrase. And I know I'm going to have a verb phrase, but we don't know where it is yet. Let's take a look at the sentence. Finish your work. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and this is an order. This is an command. order. That's right. It's a command. So where's the subject? You are. <laughs> Does not exist, right? <laughs> By the way, this is coming right out of the book of Proverbs. Finish your work in the field before you build your house. Uh -huh. <laughs> so this is for people who want to get married right away, and God says, "Nope, you prepare things first. So we have a noun, we have a, a noun, our subject in here, which is a, an understood you mm -hmm. doesn't exist, and then we have a verb phrase, and the main verb phrase is, of course, finish. So this is mm -hmm. coming all the way over here, right? Yeah. Uh, main verb phrase, finish your work, right? Main verb is finish. And then we have your work, which is what? Mm -hmm. It's another sentence here. Uh, where am I going here? Finish, you finish. And then your work, I finish my work, which means what? Here we are, yeah. So here, your work is going to be a noun phrase. Right? So yeah. that's, uh, where is this? Your, which is going to be a determiner or a qualifier. Uh, qualifier and a noun. And we run these lines down. Your work. Mm -hmm. Your work in the field. What's in the field? Preposition. Yep, preposition. it's a preposition and its job is what? It's an, it's an adverb. It's describing what? Describing uh, the work. Des work in the field. Okay, so since it's describing work, it's going to be an. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's going to be an adjective. Work in this one is a is a noun, right? Yeah, work is a noun. Finish your work in the field, and of course, in the in the field, as you said, is a prepositional phrase. So we've mm -hmm. got a preposition and a noun phrase here. Uh, let's run some lines. Uh, i got an adjective phrase, which is a preposition, which has uh, two parts mm -hmm. here of this noun phrase, in, mm -hmm. uh, the, and field. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. and we got to add some lot of letters here so we know what these are. That's a determiner and that's a noun. Mm -hmm. Right, so before you build your house, before is a marker. Okay, mm -hmm. if it's a preposition, the next words would be a noun. You is a noun, build is a verb. Build, build okay. is a verb, right? So this is mm -hmm. marker, subject, verb. So, yeah. uh, it's mm -hmm. going to be a clause, and it's going to be a clause describing. Something before has to do with what? Place, time, action, what? 
Before. It's time. There's a time. There's a time. So it's a time-related ver uh, clause. That means it's going to be yeah. describing the verb. Yeah. So we're going to have an adverb clause here. We have an adverb clause that, of course, becomes a sentence. Mm -hmm. And we have a subordinator with this as well. Mm -hmm. So we have an adverb clause, which becomes a sentence, and it has a subordinator, right? Mm -hmm. So from here, whoops, from here we run our subordinator line down, and then we start the sentence. Mm -hmm. We've got a noun phrase, you, and we've got a verb phrase, build, and then off mm -hmm. of here we're going to have another noun phrase, which is your house, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, you... I need a thing here mm -hmm. for a, um, what is this? Main verb phrase. Mm -hmm. The main verb is what? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The main verb is build. Mm -hmm. So off of the main verb phrase, we go down to build. And mm -hmm. then we have this noun phrase, which becomes your house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, how's that look? That's great. Yep, and we're getting, uh, did that already. And we did uh, a passage from the Bible as well. It was going to be kill two birds yeah. with one stone. Last okay. one. The Lord watches over the good and blesses them with every good gift. Where are I my verbs? It. Oh, you like this one? Where Where are my <laughs> verbs? Okay. The Lord is watches. Watches is one. Is there any other? Uh, oh, watches over is together and uh -huh. blesses. And blesses. So I got two verbs. Since I have two verbs, you're going to know that when I do my noun, my verb phrase, I'm going to have two main verb phrases in there, right? Mm -hmm. I have to. I've got to have one here and I've got to have one on the other side. So let's start running lines. Mm -hmm. Shing and shing. Try to keep these balanced like I did not do. And from here we have the Lord, which is two lines. Mm -hmm. And then we have a main verb, which is watches. Mm -hmm. We've got a main verb phrase, we've got a determiner, and we have a noun. Watches, watches over? Mm -hmm. Or is it watches over the good? Watches over the good. Okay, so watches is all by itself. Did I, did yeah. I miss it? Yeah, there we go. Watches is all by itself, and mm -hmm. we're going to have a main verb, and then we have mm -hmm. over the good, which is, what is that? Over the, over the, the Lord, Lord it's an, watches. It's an, it's an adjective. Watches. Over the good is a noun. Uh, it, over the good is a preposition, but does it describe watches or does it describe Lord? No, it's over the good. Yeah, so over the good is the prepositional phrase. Uh -huh. okay, does over the good describe Lord or does over the good describe watches? Watches. So watches is a verb, therefore it's an... Ad adverb. Right, because it's describing the verb. I told you that before. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I apologize. Preposition. And, uh, of course, this has got two parts, a preposition and a noun phrase. And the noun phrase has a determiner and a noun. And that's a whole bunch of stuff with no lines. So let's put some lines mm -hmm. in here. Adverb phrase, which is a preposition and a noun phrase. And the noun phrase has two parts. Mm -hmm. And then we can do over and the and good. And then we have a conjunction that comes off. Yep. And then we have blesses them. Blesses and them. Two mm -hmm. other things here. Let's take a look at this. First of all, we got the conjunction. Yep. And then we have blesses, which is what? Another verb. Yeah. So we've got, again, we've got two verb phrases coming off here, right? Mm -hmm. Can I try to raise this up there a little since i got all these others up here? 
little hard to do, but... And then we have... what's What are you over here? Blesses them. Them is a noun phrase, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's draw some line. And is going to be the conjunction. Blesses is a main verb phrase. Them, I can go straight down. Here I need to add a main verb. I say again to you all looking and listening, if you have a main verb phrase, you need a main verb. There's only mm-hmm. one other thing to connect there, and that's an auxiliary. Nothing else is connected. Do you see where the noun phrase goes? It goes up to here. This is where all the connections are on that verb phrase. Let's try mm-hmm. not to make that mistake during the next exam. Mm-hmm. All right, off the main off the main verb, we can just run down a, a line, and we're done with that. Mm-hmm. And then with every good gift is what? With is another a preposition. It's a preposition. So what's it describing? Is it describing them or is it describing blesses? Um, uh, uh-huh. With every good gift. As the good. With every, the... every, every, with every good gift is the preposition. Yeah. Okay, does that preposition describe them or does the preposition describe blesses? No, it describes them. Does that mean that they're they're big or they're small or they're, you know, sleepy or they're good. <laughs> it's an adjective. <laughs> oh, what's good is the blessing is good, right? Or the gift is good. Yeah. yeah. So, this is I think this is describing how he blesses. Yeah. How does he bless? Answer, with every good gift. Right? Mm, yeah. So i thinking that it's going to be an adverb phrase adverb. because it's describing how he blesses. It is a preposition. Mm-hmm. Right? So we have with. And then we have a noun phrase, which has a couple parts to it. Right? Mm-hmm. So adverb phrase to preposition. The preposition is with. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. And then we have every good gift, right? Yeah. Last one's easy because it's a noun. Yeah. Okay, good, I would assume, is an adjective. So we'll call that an adjective. Mm-hmm. And every, I guess we could call a quantifier. Yep. Got it. Praise God. <laughs> Doing very well. Praise you, Lord. <laughs> so last one for tonight. Every good gift. Yeah, it's okay. the best way to close. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me just stress again the, the importance of making sure that the majority of your connections that you're making are in and around here in that verb phrase. Okay? Yeah. And that if yep. you've got double verbs, then you've got double you know, main verb phrases coming off. All right? Yeah. 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 You think this helped? It's very, very helpful, and I wish we could do it this all the time. <laughs> well, like I said, next year I'll be certain to do this at least once a week in all my classes. Yeah, it's very helpful, <sighs> Professor. Good. And I think we need it more often that we'll keep, you know, like um, just to keep connected, connect in, in you know, inter- like interact and I would agree. I would agree. Next year, I'll make it mandatory. Listen, class, I want to say thank you, and I will have this uploaded momentarily. Talk to you soon.